<laughs> I don't know if I can shuffle like that. <laughs> hey, Earth Signs, what's up with you guys? I don't think I can. My hands aren't big enough. This is the Mythic deck I'm using, which is bigger than my normal my uh, normal Barbara Moore deck that I like. But I want to use this deck for the Earth Sign. I've seen I saw a lot of Earth Signs in the air and fire readings today, and. Now I'm going to look and see what's going on with you guys. What is happening? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. What's going on for you guys? This is back to our dailies. I lightened up on the dailies in order to finish the um, private readings and have done so. So we should be getting them by the end of January 15th, which is Tuesday. Colleen's got to do a lot of stuff to them after I do them. Okay, so here we go. Let's see what's happening with you guys. All right. A lot of cap. I have a lot of cap friends. I really. Oh my goodness. There's Virgo. Hi, Virgo. I'm not talking right now. <laughs> yeah. What you doing there, Virgo? All right. Let's see here. I feel like the person you're dealing with, I feel like there's a third party here. Yeah, that's interesting. Okay. So, uh, you could be going toward a fire sign. I feel like if you're dealing with an air sign, they're going to, somebody is unclear. Because you're not talking. Somebody is unclear. I think you're worried about this, that they're not clear. I think you're going to get what you want, though. Okay? I feel like um, this person, Three of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Moon. So you could have given somebody a lot of money or a lot of stuff. Um, I feel like they might not be the most mentally balanced person in the whole wide world. I feel like they have a lot of deep emotions. This could be a water sign acting as an air sign. Okay, I feel like they're, they're confused. There's, uh, for some of you, this person has asked a lot of questions. They're, uh, still confused about what's going on, but they're getting financially rewarded this could be somebody you're divorcing, okay? Another, there's another storyline here that the person you're dealing with is an air sign and they're very much confused. They're dealing with their own work. They're the third party in your situation. Okay? Uh, you, I feel like you are, you have expectations. I feel like you love this person. Okay? I feel like you're going through big transformation here. Scorpio energy. There's a water sign that you're dealing with. Oh, it's very weird. Hanged man. Okay. So, um, seeing, I, I feel like you are, you're in your hermit energy of going inside, seeing what you want to do, being a little confused yourself, being a little, um, uh, anxious about situation seeing it from a different perspective and you're getting what you want king of wands you're getting a, a fire sign here you could be dealing with a water sign and that's difficult this is difficult i feel like you love the person i feel like you love the person i feel like you if you're dealing with this person i feel like you they're uh, a wife or a husband or a partner. I feel like this is going through a big transformation. Definitely going through a huge transformation here. And look at this. Okay, so it's about um, who's giving and who's receiving. One of you feels like you're giving more than you're getting. And the other of you... I feel like you guys might see this absolutely in the same way, but it means different things to, to each one of you. One of you is very happy to be receiving 
it's not a balance of receiving and uh, giving. There's not a balance here. Somebody's always giving. Somebody's always receiving. There's that's out of balance. That's why this is going through a transformation. Okay. That's why this needs to be changed. Seeing it from a different perspective. There's one person's always giving. One person's always receiving. And that is causing the person who's always giving is causing them to be upset. Queen of Swords, Moon. There's more to this. They have feelings, but there's something here. It's like they don't see. There's something here that's not clear to them. Why is this? What? There's a whole chunk of this that they don't get. All right. And the key to me is these two cards here is the hermit and the hanged man. So somebody is, you both are going deep. You're both are trying to see things, gain wisdom on the situation. You're both trying to figure out what to do here. And there is a shift here. There is a shift away from this moon energy, this Piscean energy of murkiness, fear, right? Queen of Swords, she's afraid. And moving towards something that's transformed into something good. The person who feels like they're always giving, somebody is acting like a victim here. The person who feels like they're always giving feels like there's something, there's something going on here that they don't know about. And the person who's always receiving is perfectly happy to let that go on. But it needs to be balanced out. This is out of balance. And so the enlightenment is the balance. The enlightenment is where you both sort of like understand, oh, okay, I guess always receiving probably makes that other person upset. Oh, I guess I'm a little too suspicious about what's going on here. Right there, is, I don't see any communication about it. I see, I see that you each come to your own conclusions about it, and that does shift the energy. And so now there's nine of cups, king of wands. Okay, now there can be so this relationship. I feel like it ends if there's no communication here. This relationship is going to end. Okay. The, the, you, you know what I'm talking about, the give and take, when it's out of balance. If your relationship here is out of balance, somebody's angry about it, somebody's anxious about it, somebody's um, very self-indulgent here about receiving all the time, and the person who is giving all the time is like, we're done here, F off. Okay? And then um, that lays the ground. There's no communication about this. It's just like energy is shifting. Like you both come to the same conclusion without talking and things just move. There is action taken. And I feel like too, like the three of pentacles, three of wands. Someone is also having their ships come in, having their, having, um, someone is being, a, being gifted by the universe. That's shifting the energy. Someone is being having clarity in confusion. That's shifting it. You're shifting the energy and you guys are coming apart because the energy is shifting. Okay? And then now for both of you, there's clarity about what you want and action can be taken on that. Okay? But up until now, there's no action. It was sort of stuck in this cycle. this relationship ends and now something can now the you both are coming to the same conclusion for different reasons for different reasons there's abundance here empress nine of cups and if this relationship was out of balance because somebody was always giving and someone was always receiving, that needs to end. And it will. It's just, it can't, it can't continue. 
It can't continue out of balance, okay? Okay. So I'm going to use this other deck to do the extended. January 15th, Earth sign. Link is below. I'll see you over there.